Another method of filtering images is using the library filter. We used it earlier, but we didn't explore it in detail. For this lecture, click back onto all photographs in your catalog panel. The library filter located up here is a great way to quickly filter your catalog using certain conditions. We already used the text filter earlier in this course to filter our catalog by keyword. Now let's take a look at some others, including the attribute and metadata filter. To access the attribute filter, click over here. The attribute filter allows us to filter our catalog by flag type, star rating, color label, or kind. Say for example, we only want to view images with a five star rating. To do that, click over here and select rating is equal to from the menu and then click on five stars. Now we're seeing all the images that have a five star rating. We can take it a step further by filtering not only by star rating, but also flag type. Say for example, we want to see all the images with a three star rating that also contain a pick flag. Click on three stars and then also click on pick flag over here. We have four images with a three star rating and also a pick flag. Now remove the star rating and also remove the pick flag. Change this option back to the first so we can see all our images from our catalog. We can filter our catalog by color label. Say for example, we only want to see the images with the green color label attached. Just click the green square here. If you want to add blue, click the blue square. Now we're seeing both. To remove them, just click them again. Say for example, we want to filter our catalog to see if we have any videos in this collection. Go ahead and click the last option here and you'll see that we have one video file. To remove the kind filter, click this option again. So as you can see, working with the attribute filter is a great way to filter your catalog. When you're finished with the attribute filter, click none over here.